we have come to this stream which is flowing at the edge of the forest today and I thought I'll introduce a set of insects that is not very often spoken about. They belong to the order Odonata and they include dragonflies and damselflies. Let me see what we can showcase today. So we've come to this stretch of stream here and I can see a whole lot of action, a lot of dragonflies, a lot of damselflies, a lot of interesting things happening. Here we go. So dragonflies and damselflies, what is the difference? Uh, dragonflies are generally the more stouter, robust insects with, with their wings stretched outwards, uh, whereas uh, damselflies are very slender and they generally sit with their wings folded up. That is a very basic difference that you need to know about dragonflies and damselflies. And generally they prefer streams like this. Of course there are different species which prefer different habitats, but today we are going to talk about the species which are occupying this stream over here. In this stream, I have seen at least 25 different species of dragonflies and damselflies. And they are carnivorous insects. They'll be feeding a lot on these flying uh, midges, flies, mosquitoes as adults. And the larvae will be feeding on the subaquatic insects uh, like tadpoles, mosquito eggs, mosquito larvae. So, they are actually a very good regulator of the river ecosystem. They make sure things are in balance. And when you have an unclean water system, what happens is most of the specific dragonflies, which are very specific about their habitat, they will uh, disappear first. And that causes a huge imbalance in the river system. Um, over here we have this uh, particular damselfly called the stream ruby, a very beautiful damselfly. And what is happening here is there are a couple of them, a couple of males which are fighting for a small stump and that's how territories work in damselfly. Prominent perches on the stream. And we'll try to spend some time with these guys and see what comes out of it. In fact, when they're fighting, everything's one big blur. So what I'm trying to do here is trying to shoot it in slow motion so that we can, you guys can actually see what I'm talking about in terms of the colors, the beauty and the amount of energy they expend in just holding on to their territories. You can see them right here, fighting away. In fact, their compound eyes helps them see at 300 frames per second and that is what helps them coordinate their movements even at such high speeds. These males have been active for the last half an hour at least. I don't know who's winning. There is one particular male here who looks like he is the dominant one, and we want to try and see if we can focus on that guy for a while. This male is so territorial that he's constantly chasing off other males coming into his patch, but not just of just his species but he's chasing off other species of dragonflies and damselflies also. He's really hell-bent on holding onto that stump. And finally, after one last push, we have our winner. He takes his place at the tip of the stump and starts getting ready to meet the female. Once she arrives, he chases off the last male and starts to bring out his best to woo her with his mating dance. She responds immediately. Encouraged, he moves on to the next stage. And that seemed to work. She tempts him with a quick skim of the water surface and they take off. He follows her to her perch and opens up his bright white feet and dances. He needs to impress her and at the same time, keep an eye out for other males. This ballet goes on for a while before she is truly impressed and lets him mount her. You can actually see how these damselflies mate. Uh, you have the male holding on to the female. He'll take her to his patch of 
territory to make sure she lays her eggs over there. That's why they hold on to them and take them along. Unlike in the case of a butterfly and a moth, there is no cocoon or a pupa stage in dragonfly. So that's why it's called an incomplete metamorphosis. Uh, in fact, this uh, stream bed right here would be full of larvae of dragonflies which feed on uh, mosquito larva or mosquito eggs and in fact some of them even feed on frog tadpoles and they are actually a very important indicator of the health of a river system. Looks like our male has managed to impress three different females. What a day it's been for him and what a wonderful day in the world of dragonflies for us. It's just amazing how much we can actually learn about the forest around us just by sitting, sitting in one place and observing the little things. We could have just walked past that entire bit of action and drama happening in that rivulet right here. But just because we sat with them, we saw how much of effort it takes for a male dragonfly or a damselfly to win over a female, hold on to his territory and make sure he is procreating for the future generations. Hopefully we'll be coming back to this stream for more stories in the future. Until then, take care.